दाम आसियों पर ये बड़ा एहसान गए या खुदा हम आसियों पर ये बड़ा एहसान गए जिंदगी में वे अता हम को किया रमदान गए ويسر لي قولي اللهم أرنا الحق حقا ورزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا ورزقنا اجتنابه اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا ومولانا محمد معدن الجود والكرم وآله الكرام وابنه الكريم وبارك وسلم عليه الصلاة والسلام الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر Alhamdulillah. All praise due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most affectionate, kind, merciful. We send peace, salutations, blessings upon our Nabi, last of the messengers, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. We send blessings upon our Nabi's entire household, his ahli bayt al tahar and we send blessings upon his older companion, the Sahaba Ikram. We send blessings upon every single one who have died in the state of Iman. Alhamdulillah, we consider ourselves the most affectionate, most fortunate people as we have completed the holy and the blessed month of Ramadan. We have done it with ease, with peace, and Alhamdulillah, with health and Iman. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept every single ibadah and worships we have done, inshaAllah. Inshallah. Uh, so we thank our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most kind and merciful, for giving us beautiful and the blessed month of Ramadan, alhamdulillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this beautiful day, Eid al-Fitr, mashallah. This is the day of reward, day of ajr. And it should begin with few things, and we have to ponder upon few things from now onwards inshallah so the first thing is takbirat which alhamdulillah we have been doing right now that we should do takbir of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah akbar allah akbar la ilaha illallah allah akbar allah akbar wa lillahi alhamdulillah the second thing which we have to do from Eid day inshallah that we should clear our heart, complete purify our heart with any kind of both kina, adawat, hatred, any kind of jealousy, arrogance, attitude, problems we have in our heart. We have to com- we have to completely clear those things, inshallah. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, "Dabba ilaykum da'ul umami qabdukum al hasad wal baghda." Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam few things that he is worried about us, that he see us among us, and it was there in the previous ummah, which actually destroyed those ummahs. And we, are, we also have those things, al-hasad, jealousy for each other, al bagha hatred for each other. We are actually divided uh, based on color, race, nationalities, language, you know, many other things. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us inshallah. You should think that this Eid day is the day of, you know, cutting off. Cutting off what? Cutting off our arrogance, attitude, hatred, bows, kina, jealousy, all those things inshallah. And this day is to create love amongst each other. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said something very, very nice. وَالَّذِي nafsi بِيَدِهِ لا تدخلون الجنة حتى تؤمنوا ولا تؤمنوا حتى تحابوا 
Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, I swear by God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who has the power of taking my life. I swear to that Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you cannot enter into Jannah unless you are truly believers. And you will not become a truly believer until you love each other. And how you will become, uh, how you will increase that iman and love for each other when you are there to say salam to each other, spread salam with another, with each other. Always, whenever you meet, you should greet with these words, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Because you are making dua for someone. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us that salam, that uh, protection from all kind of you know, bad things. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give all of us tawfiq insha'Allah. The third thing that we should do from now onwards, that is shukr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every single moment. Every single moment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, says in the Quran, لَإِن شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ If you will be thankful, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I will increase your ni'mah. Any kind of ni'mah, if you have and you become thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will increase that inshallah. And we are healthy people. We are alive. We are here on, you know, in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember a few days ago there was an earthquake. Many of you have experienced that. And last year, it happened in Turkey. What happened? Hundreds of people that have lost their life. Thousands of people that have lost their family, their houses, and we are here without any law. So what it means? Thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرُكُمْ وَشْكُرُونِي وَلَا You do my dhikr, I'll do yours. Promise from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You do my dhikr, I'll do yours. And what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَشْكُرُونِي and you must be thankful to me and you should not be amongst disgraceful. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us inshaAllah. From now onwards, the first shawwal is considered uh, amongst the month of Hajj. This is the beginning of the month of Hajj. Actually, month of Hajj is only one, Dhul Hajjah. But actually in Fiqah, in Islam you say that previously people used to travel from let's say two months, three months before that. So Shawwal al Qaeda al Hajj used to consider it as the month of Hajj. And Alhamdulillah, this is the beginning of that. We make dua. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq that we also perform Hajj with our family and friends with Iman, inshaAllah. Rahman. And not once, not twice. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq as much as we can, inshaAllah. Ameen. Ya Rabbil There's another thing. That we should consider the Eid the day is not to forget people. It is to remember people. And especially who? We have to remember the people, uh, you know, those who are actually poor people, needy people amongst the society, community, and they are close to us, our relatives. We have to you know, remember them and we have to make dua for them and we have to help them in each and every way we can. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq inshaAllah. Always keep in mind that uh, Eid, it is not about having a new cloth or the good cloth. No. Uh, it is Eid of our character, our akhlaq. لَيْسَ الْعِيدُ لِمَنْ نَبِسَ الْجَدِيدُ Eid is not, for, uh, not only that that you actually wear good cloth. Eid is something that you remember the needy people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq and having said that, we cannot forget our brothers of Palestine, Gaza. On the Eid day, we make dua. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all the peoples in Gaza, Palestine from any kind of calamities, inshaAllah. Allahum marham. Allahum marham. Allahum marham. Allahum mahfadhum min kulli bala'i dunya. Allahum marham min kulli bala'i dunya. Allahum mahfadhum min kulli bala'i dunya. Ameen ya Rabbana. And when we talk about the needy people, we cannot forget our relatives, the uh, blood relatives, the most closest one, and the other ones. وَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا وَبِالْوَالِدِينِ إِحْسَانًا وَبِذَا الْقُرْبَى وَالْيَتَامَى وَالْمَسَاكِنِ وَبِذَا الْقُرْبَى is always there. 
In the Quran, whenever it is talking about the Hukukul Ibad, the rights of people, it is always talking about the relatives, your close one. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq, inshaAllah. Fan asidum in tawalidum an tufsidu fil ardi wa duqatti'u arahamah. Are you trying to create fasad fil ard? Fasad fil ard means problems in this dunya, problems on this planet earth. How? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa duqatti'u arahamakum by breaking the relationships. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq inshaAllah. We are believers, we are Muslims, and this is our duty that we always keep the relationship with our parents, with our children, with our spouses, with our uncles, with our aunts. And we have to begin from today on Eid. Do not just write a message and next to all, you know, you do not even consider them. You do not even think of them, no. Find them. Find their number and call them. Alhamdulillah, Eid Mubarak, Akhi, Eid Mubarak, Ammi, Eid Mubarak, Akhi, Eid Mubarak, Ukhti. We have to find, inshallah, Muhammad. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq, inshallah. There is another thing that we can start from now onwards. That is, that we should make sure that we will be kind and nice to all our spouses. When I say spouses, that means if you are a man, I am seeing you with your wife and my sisters, they are listening to me, they are listening to me upstairs, they have to be very, very kind to their husbands. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says something very nice. You must be treating your spouse, especially your wives, very, very good. In this ayah, it is only about women. You have to treat them well. It happens. You may does not. You may don't like something in your wife. It happens. But Allah subhanahu wa taala might have kept a lot of good things. Inshallah, Rahman. Um, a lot of good things, inshallah, Rahman, which we have to ponder upon those things and we have to actually be kind to our women. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq, inshallah. There's another thing that we have to start from now onwards. Alhamdulillah, Ramadan was the beautiful month. And we have tried our best to do a lot of ibadat and worships. Now, after Ramadan, we see very few people, they come to the masjid, right? Very few people. And may I make dua on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept their ibadat and worships. But there's one thing we do wrong, that those who come, they always, you know, you could say, uh, remember other people with bad things. Look, now nobody is coming. We are only here. So if this is about the encouragement or, you know, having worried about other people of the community, it's okay. But if you are thinking, I am something nice and biased or righteous person because I'm coming, and those who are not coming, they are not good enough. That is wrong. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not want us to have shirk, shirki asghar. What is shirki asghar? When you have riya, when you have showing off, when you have this attitude of people should know this mean, I am doing this ribadah. I am actually giving. I am the one who is actually, you know, uh, coming, coming to the masjid, taking care of the masjid, you know, doing those things. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us, inshaAllah. Meanwhile, I will go ahead. We have only two minutes left for the iqamah. I want all of you, once again, please do stand up, everyone, without any excuse, everyone, please stand up, fill the gaps. And especially my buzzers on my right, if any chair which is empty, please fold it up and put it by the wall so it can you know, have more space, inshallah, Rahman. Everybody, please do stand up and fill the gaps. So inshallah, Rahman, those who are coming right now, they will have enough space in the back. Masjid will be full over here first, and then we'll ask them to uh, go outside. Jazakallah uh, khair. Keep uh, you know, standing until I get the clearance from either Fawad Bay or Kamran Bay. Then, inshallah, Rahman, you will sit down. One last thing for today, that we have to get the taqwa. We have to get that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, اِتَّقُوا اللَّهَ حَقَّ تُقَاتِهِ وَلَا تَمُوتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ That you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be. Okay, please uh, take your seats. Jazakallah, please sit down. Jazakallah, kullu khair, inshaAllah. See, mashallah, we have two or three rows at the back now. We can ask more people to get in. And now do not sit like, you know, we are in the garden, sit like in the shahud, inshaAllah, rahman. So, uh, because Salah is about to begin, inshallah, in any minute. Jazakallah khair. Taqwa is the key for any ibadah. It is the most important one. We cannot miss that. 
in after each ibadah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned that وَعْبُدُوا رَبَّكُمُ الَّذِي خَلَقَكُمُ وَالَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّهُمْ تَنْتَقُمُ People worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so you get taqwa. الْحَجُّ وَشُرُ مَعْلُومَاتِ In this ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَذَا زَوَّدُوا فَإِنَّا خَيْرَ الزَّادِ التَّقْوَى You prepare for the hajj and the best preparation for the hajj is that you have your taqwa with you and in your suitcase whether you do not have a haram it's okay you can buy all that but taqwa should be there inshallah when you are doing, uh, you know, fasting, Allah says, "Kudiba alaykum al-siyam." The end of the ayah, "La alaykum al-taqwa." So taqwa should be there. What kind of taqwa we should have? I give you one example, and you will understand. Taqwa we always have, Alhamdulillah, about this dunya, about the people. We do not commit something openly. Why? Because we think people might see me. They will notice. Oh, right. We do not consume alcohol in the parking lot somewhere. Why? Because we are afraid. We take it. You know, some, uh, nobody should see me. The fear we have about people, we have, we should have that kind of fear, uh, fear about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah is al hayyul qayyum la ta'akhuduhu sinatun wa la no. He is not like he's sleeping or Allah is not looking. I should commit sin sometime and Allah is not. Allah is always watching. In Allah, Sami al Basri, all know. And if Allah, Allah is knowing and He has given us organs, those who will actually talk against us on the day of judgment. So there is no chance that we can commit sin and Allah is not aware of that. Right? So what do we have to do? Get taqwa, inshallah, righteousness. Read Quran, you will get to know, inshallah, what are the most important things about taqwa. My message to all of you for Eid is that please do not forget the people. Needy people, orphans, Yatama, travelers, people of Palestine, Gaza, your own parents, your own children. Do not forget any of them. Be very kind and nice to all of them. Always make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the people in trouble. And always, always be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for every single uh, you know, favor and bounty we have. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us good Muslims, inshallah. May Allah accept every single ibadat, inshallah. Allahumma ja'alna min al-tawwabin wa ja'alna min al-mutatahirin. Allahumma ahfadna min kulli bala'i dunia wa'adhaab al-akhirah. Jazakallahu khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.